the son of former Kaduna governor Belu Erufai has refuted claims that his father Nasi Erufai is anti-Christian. Refuting claims that his father is anti-Christian while speaking on a now viral podcast. Yes. With a Shimon Kimbalo, the young Erufai dissociated that the closest person to his father is a Christian from Cross River State, Peter Jones. Further, solidifying his argument that his father was not a uh, anti Christian, Bello argued that while his father was the minister in charge of the federal capital territory, he demolished both mosques and churches. He further revealed that his father is a very simple person who does not go out of his way to change what people think about him. Bello said, my father is a very simple person who has been stereotyped a lot. I got a video of him when, uh, where people say this or that about him without even knowing him. My father does not even go out of his way to change what people think about him. He doesn't really care. There's a perception that he is anti-Christian, but the closest person to him since we are children were four years old was a man from Cross River State, Peter Jones. Religion is personal to us. As minister of the Federal Capital Territory, he demolished both mosques and churches. He demolished uh, churches and the Christians said he hated Christians. Maybe it is the wrong imams and pastors who have issues, not him. Okay, religion is personal thing. Yes, he demolished mosques, the imam said, he said, Islam, and vice versa. That is what he's trying to say here. Look at, uh, look for a bigger cleaner to know if you could clean your erufai father dirty, rotten and bigotry image, which already stained you and siblings as his offsprings. Your father is Muslim jihad terrorist. I don't even want to listen to this uh, live voice. Whether his father was closer to Mr. Jones or it doesn't matter. <laughs> it makes no difference. May Almighty Allah treat uh, Erufai as he treated Cardona's without humanity. He is a beast not eating Christianity alone. Take it or leave it. Of course, this is true. Not only anti-Christians, also, okay, anti Christian or anti Christ, your father is a chronic Muslim, and according to his utterances, he is a serious religious lunatic. And no Jupiter can change him, only God can help other faiths to stop your father from becoming Nigeria leader. Take it or disagree, that is what your father is. Liar and a son of liars. Your father is an, and you are from the beginning. Your father wants to be prior president or president of Nigeria, and you are being groomed to become next cardinal governor. But none of you will get there. Please stop politics, not religion. You don't even care who he hates or who he loves. Erufai, as the name may be. Hated by Christians without reason, God has exposed him, and how is a man without a political relevance, and why is he looking for a party uh, to pollute with bad manners? Evil supporter, evil supporting evil. Too bad for that's a mid-get thief, as his dark cloak had been off his shoulder. We talk about Erufa, he is not a person to see as a responsible person and real human being. Your father, the learn work, if he repents fire, your father is evil. Your father is wicked and heartless. He hates Christians. Some people do not believe eh, what this guy is saying. Because I remember vividly after the election, when there was a, okay, there was a video where that audio clip that this man said all manner of things just like his son said he would not come out 
and defend himself but in that video it was vividly or the audio clip it was very obvious uh talking about a, that a, they have taught a peter will be a lesson next time we will not do this you know so after three or four months he came out and said no that was not what he meant but the message was clearer the message was clearer so we see the same thing hmm. your father is wicked and heartless and hates christians your father did not hide his hatred for christians and went ahead went about it with a sense of or a sense of pride name does not make anyone cheap chief team please no need to defend your father it is crystal clear he was having hidden agenda against uh, the other faith please just quick quiet every five put beyond any visible doubt that muslims could win election in Kaduna, even if no christian cast his roots is this the reason why you said he ate, uh, ate the christians away anyway election 2023 has expired who is said who and plotted against who is inconsequential as we speak now yes